everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can just skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. This week we only have new information for Time of Legends Joan of Arc and Darkest Dungeon the board game, so let's get to it. Now before we jump into our projects, we do have just a little bit of general news, and that is simply we are currently unable to respond to Kickstarter messages due to the high volume of requests we get throughout all of our platforms. So we're trying to pull all the requests in one place so that we can decrease our response time and ultimately provide better service for your requests. So please kindly send any of your questions to our support email at support at mythicgames.net and our customer support team will be delighted to help you. Now let's get to our projects. For Time of Legends Joan of Arc today, we just have some additional content from our factory on things they're producing. Today it's the Apocalypse box, going through an assembly line and a couple of static pictures of them on the pallets. Now we're trying to share with you anything production related that we're receiving from the factory for Joan of Arc, so bear with us if it's not exactly the content you were requesting. We know everyone is excited to finally get this on their doorstep and we are also very charged to be so close to the finish line. Thank you so much for your patience and your support. Hello Torch Bearers! Recently we've talked about many different things regarding the game including a production update in our last newscast. Today we want to continue our journey to learn more about our beloved heroes with the unrelentingly wild Hellion. The Hellion is one of the most aggressive heroes of the game and she can deal a lot of damage to her enemies in a very consistent manner. She's one of the heroes that like to be in the front lines, but also has some useful skills if she finds herself elsewhere. Even though she doesn't have a very high survivability, she has a good life pool and dodge with some very helpful resistances. With Wicked Hack, she can inflict a lot of damage to enemies up close, and she can replicate that damage on those pesky monsters at a distance with Iron Swan. She also has skills that are more supportive and tactical, like Barbaric Yelp, which can stun multiple monsters simultaneously, and Adrenaline Rush, which can remove Blight and Bleed, and buff herself or her allies on higher levels. Lastly, the Hellion can make monsters bleed with the skill If It Bleeds, and with Bleed Out, one of the most devastating attacks of the game, but upon using it, the Hellion also suffers some wounds. And with that, we conclude one more hero spotlight. Now, as an addendum, we wanted to let you know that for the Polish version of the game, our collaboration with Lucrum is now expanding. We will be offering the Crimson Court and Musketeer in Polish as well. So make sure you contact us to change the language of those two expansions if you're interested. Until next time, try to keep your stress low and your spirits high. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what he might spoil. But that's it for this week. Stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.